والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم السلام عليكم ورحمه الله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين The blessed month of Ramadan This beautiful month The days are passing so fast And we need to take opportunity And being able to take advantage Of every single second In the month of Ramadan To be able to acquire the most amount of good deeds That we can have in this beautiful month in the month of Ramadan, we get to see in ourselves that nothing in the religion of Islam, nothing in the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or in the way of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is difficult. It is all easy for those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it easy for them. But the individual needs to strive. He needs to do some mujahada, striving, struggling in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that the person would elevate himself and not to choose to be always someone that follows his own desires. This is a low way of life. We are ordered to elevate ourselves. A Muslim individual is not someone that is always following his desire. Someone that is a bad individual in a society. But instead he is someone that is reaching perfectness by striving and struggling. In the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Because this self, our nafs Is in such a way That can reach so much high levels of perfectness If we know how to treat it well And one of these means of being able to know ourselves best Is by following the way of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam In all matters of the religion And in the month of Ramadan We experience in the month of Ramadan This quality of mujahada of striving, struggling in the cause of Allah. We talked about patience. We need to have striving and struggle to endure patience. In the month of Ramadan, we see this by abstaining from what is permissible for us, eating and drinking and sexual relations with one's wives and so on. We do this for the sake of Allah and we struggle. We struggle in standing in the night prayer. If we feel tired, we endure patience and struggle and strive and not just to quit the very first moment that we feel tired, there is nothing wrong of having some tiredness, acceptable one, something that would not cause any harm to the physical body of the human being, but seeking the pleasure of Allah and striving, so that this striving for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would elevate us to make us a better individual. And that's why Ramadan is a life-changing experience. There's a beautiful hadith that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Hadith Qudsi, reported by Abi Hurairah radiyallahu an, authentic one, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا تَقَرَّبَ إِلَيَّ عَبْدِي بِشَيْءٍ أَحَبُّ إِلَيَّ مِمَّا افْتَرَضْتُهُ عَلَيْهِ وَلَا يَزَالُ عَبْدِي يَتَقَرَّبُ إِلَيَّ بِالنَّوَافِلْ حَتَّى أُحِبَّهِ فَإِذَا أَحْبَبْتُهُ كُنْتُ سَمْعَهُ الَّذِي يَسْمَعُ بِهِ وَبَصَرَهُ الَّذِي يُبْصِرُ بِهِ وَيَدَهُ الَّتِي يَبْطِشُ بِهَا وَرِجْلَهُ الَّتِي يَمْشِي بِهَا وَلَا إِنْ سَأَلَنِي لَأُعْطِيَنَّ وَلَا إِنْ إِسْتَعَاذَنِي لَأُعِيذَنَّ The meaning of which that the most beloved act to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had made it an obligatory obligation on us. This is the most beloved act of worship. That the slave of Allah can never draw closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by other than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had made it obligatory first. And then it said that the slave of Allah will keep on doing the acts of worship, the optional acts of worship, till Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves him. See, it has a condition here that the slave of Allah will continue, will keep on consistency, striving. Consistency needs striving and struggling in the cause of Allah. He would keep on doing the acts, the optional acts of worship till Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves this individual. And then if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the individual, then he is his hearing that he hears with. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide him to hear what is good 
and to abstain from hearing what is evil. He would become his sight that he sees with and his hands that he uses and the legs and so on. And if he would ask, this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and if he would ask, supplicate, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would give him what he asks for. And if he seek refuge in me, I would be his refuge. Great rewards for doing what? For striving to be consistent in acts of worship. Aisha radiallahu anha, she said about the acts of worship of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa his night prayer, that he used to stand in the salah till his feet is cracked. حَتَّى تَتَفَطَّرْ قَدَمَهِ عَلَيْهِ الصَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامِ and she asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, how would you do this or why would you do this when Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala had forgiven your past and your future sins? Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala forgiven all the sins of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He's the best of all human beings and he still would stand in the salah, in the night prayer, long standing to the extent of which that his feet would be cracked as a result of that. The Prophet ﷺ replying, saying, أَفَلَا أَكُونُ عَبَدًا شَكُورًا Shouldn't I be a thankful and a grateful slave, a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Being grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by what? By striving and struggling to do these acts of worship. When the human being, once he feels tired or doesn't have the desire to do something, he abstains from it he would lose so much in this life and in the hereafter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us to strive and to struggle in His cause. وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُولَنَا Those who would strive in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will guide them to the path of Allah, to the oneness of worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to all what is good. Jannah has been shielded, covered by all forms of hardship as the Prophet ﷺ said. The hellfire is also covered by all forms of desires and lusts and things of that nature. This is what the Prophet ﷺ said. It means what? It means when the human being doesn't have this knowledge, when he is in state of forgetfulness, when he does not strive for the cause of Allah, if he looks under his feet and not to look ahead over what comes after this life, he would choose to follow his desires then the end of this path is the hellfire. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. But if he would have the proper knowledge and understand that the Jannah, paradise, is being covered, covered by forms of hardship, do this, do not do this. This is permissible, this is not permissible. Pray at a prescribed times. Fast the month of Ramadan. It's all orders from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that needs for the believers to strive and to strive. And it's a moment or time that the person would go through as a test. And after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would make it easy for the believers. Which is what the verse says. وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُولَنَا That those who would struggle and strive in the cause of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide them to the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So again, for those who are far away, not tasting the striving and the struggling for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they might think that is difficult. It might be difficult in the beginning, like anything else. If a person starts a job at 5 o'clock in the morning and he's not used to wake up in the morning that early, he would strive and struggle and he would find it difficult. But after some time, it becomes the norm. How about the acts of worship that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala changes the hearts of the believers then? But they need to strive to, to show the truthfulness of the believers. And that's what we do in Ramadan. So that anything else after that in the matters of the religion of Islam becomes easy because we already have the ability to strive and to struggle for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala superior. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us and to help us in the month of Ramadan to fulfill the acts of worship and to accept our deeds. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala Muhammadin وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته